This is a quick demonstration of EMC VPlex and vSphere VVols, a future technology uh, from VMware. Um, VPlex is uh, EMC technology that creates an active active storage model, and VPlex Metro works over synchronous distances. This is used by hundreds of customers today to create stretch clusters, as we're doing in this example here, where it's possible to create virtual machines that are able to be uh, vMotioned and vMHA'd between uh, data centers that can be uh, uh, synchronous class distances apart. Um, think, uh, you know, five millisecond round trip latency as the, as the kind of sweet spot. Uh, this is an incredible technology. It allows customers to start to blend the world of uh, disaster avoidance and disaster recovery. Um, it can be used in conjunction with vSphere uh, uh, Site Recovery Manager, which is great. And as you can see here, it's simple and easy. Uh, active active storage model. Uh, means that uh, the VMFS data stores are visible in both places. And as we go in here, one thing that's fascinating is that with vVols, you'll notice that uh, these virtual volumes to store that individual virtual machine were created automatically when the virtual machine was created. This is something that's a little bit of a technology future demonstration here, but you can see uh, that it's something that VMware and EMC are collaborating on very closely. What does this mean? It means that as we created that individual virtual machine, as opposed to creating uh, the virtual machine on a LUN, the VPLEX cluster was providing a storage pool, and it created a single VVOL object just for that individual virtual machine. And as you saw through that bandwidth chart earlier, it started to uh, synchronize the data across the uh, VPLEX cluster for the individual virtual machine right away. And uh, the classic use case here is to provide vMotion over distance. Now, one thing that's always been cool about VPlex is that it's always enabled VM level granularity, but the VM level granularity of doing vMotions and where the VM was living was always on the idea of the entire LUN um, being active active uh, between two data centers. Here now with vVols, literally the only object that is active active across both data centers is the individual uh, vVol. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And um, you can see here that we can do all sorts of uh, cool capabilities uh, where we're migrating that virtual machine live, running on its own vVol, while we're running this video in the background that's running on that VM, which is a, a vPlex uh, um, and a VM review use case. But now we're going to show you something even cooler. vPlex Geo, or the ability to create stretched active active storage models across asynchronous distances, thousands of kilometers, has been GA for some time, but has not been supported in vSphere use cases. The reason for this is that during a vMotion, it would be possible if the storage model was asynchronous that the VMFS volume could actually be corrupted. So even though VMware uh, uh, you know, doesn't support this capability, EMC has had this asynchronous capability, because a single VM would, uh, during its vMotion, need to uh, be synchronously in both places, it was something that we couldn't support. But with vVols, we're able to do something very, very cool, which is we just started a vMotion across a storage cluster, which has got an active active storage model that's asynchronous. But when we trigger the vMotion operation, because it's operating on a VM level of granularity using vVols, what happens is that vPlex can downshift just for that individual VM while it's being vMotioned into a synchronous mode. So this is very, very cool and highlights how vVols changes the storage model from file systems and from LUN models into VMs being first class citizens. We can actually change the policy just for the individual VM during the vMotion, which means that in theory it's now possible in future vSphere releases to start creating stretch clusters over longer and longer distances. Pretty darn cool.